Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. Uh, we're going to be talking all about uh, every pre-med's worst nightmare, which is organic chemistry. Um, but to get a little perspective on what other people think about it, we're going to go ask other pre-meds what they think about it. Hello Sammy, what did you think about organic chem? I really loved it. I thought Dr. Gentile is literally the best person to ever walk this earth. Like she's so intelligent and so great. She made that course very fun for me and I didn't think it was as challenging as everyone said it was. So is organic hard? No, no, I've been putting the work. All right, there you have it folks. Personally, I was really scared for organic chemistry just because it's kind of the class that everyone sees. It's like the scary class that's gonna weed people out and uh, really test if you can make it to medical school. Like you need a good grade, obviously. But I think in my head, I had it, um, like I felt like it was gonna be so hard that it really wasn't as bad. Like my expectations were a lot higher than what it really was. Obviously, obviously it's still hard, I'm not saying it's easy, but it was definitely manageable, not scary, really challenging, but in a good way. So yeah, basically what you might have gathered from that is, bottom line, organic chem is hard. Um, there's no really easy way to put that. But that doesn't mean you can't do well in it. Um, I did well. I know a lot of my friends who did well. Um, and yeah, it does require a lot of work, but if you really want to get it, then it can be done. I do also want to say that I don't think it was hard as I thought it was going to be. And that's something I think that really helped, honestly. Like, going into it, I thought it was going to be like up to one studying every night. Um, and while I did have to put a lot of time into it, it wasn't like every day I was putting in five hours just to organic chem, whether it's reading notes, doing practice problems, all that kind of stuff. Um, so there is a lot that goes into it, but it's not, it's very, it is very doable. So basically what organic chem is all about, and I didn't really know this till I took the class, um, but it's all about how electrons move from one molecule to the other and the different orbitals that they're in. Um, and so basically how they move around during a reaction. Um, and those are represented by mechanisms, which you'll end up doing a lot of. So there are five things that I really use uh, when I study for organic chem. Obviously, I use the textbook. Uh, this covers both organic chem 1 and 2, which I'm in right now. Um, we have a model kit, which is basically like chemistry Legos. And then my professor highly recommended a uh, supplemental book which is this one. Um, I'm no, in no way like sponsored or anything by this company or author or my professor or anything. Um, but he recommended it and I found it really useful so I just wanted to let you guys know and kind of pass that information along. Um, also, use office hours. Uh, those are super helpful. And then another thing that I really like about organic chem at my school is that every Sunday and Thursday uh, the professor and TAs hold these, are called workshops, uh, and it's basically a place you can go and work on organic chemistry together. You can work with the professor, the TAs, with other students, um, so yeah. So now to kind of how I studied for organic chem. Um, like I said before, I studied a lot, um, and most of that's just putting a lot of time into it, um, because the material is difficult. So you need to be able to practice it a lot in order to understand it very well. Um, so what I did, every day after lecture, well, so the same day of lecture, but after lecture, I would rewrite my notes, just to kind of make them neat and organize them. And I'll show you guys that in a second, actually. So I still actually do this in organic, too. Um, so I just, gotta, I'm show you guys that now, because that's what I have. So like here, this is an example of notes that I had from lecture yesterday and then the same notes but much more neatly organized so that honestly has really helped me uh, I did it last semester for organic chem 1 um, so I'm hoping it'll work again for organic chem 2 uh, but we'll see and I think even more importantly than that is practice problems Practice, 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 practice. I cannot stress that enough how important it is to do practice problems, whether it's mechanisms or short answers. Um, I know in Organic Chem 2, it's mostly just mechanisms. There's not a whole lot of short answer stuff. Um, but really just practicing it because 
one thing. And the reason you need to practice is not because you want to be able to memorize everything, but so that you can identify how a mechanism is going to work. So yeah, there are certain things you need to memorize, like you have to memorize your functional groups uh, and certain steps, but you want to be able to get to the point where you can look at the reactants and the solvent that it's in and say, okay, I have a carbonyl in an acid. So this is what's going to happen. And then you can draw out the mechanism rather than trying to memorize every step. That will be terrible. My, so last semester, I actually asked my professor like what he would recommend. And he said, if you try and memorize everything in, in this class, it's going to suck because there's just, there's so many different kinds of mechanisms that you would have to memorize in order to do that.